Lauren, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Are you already here? You're already I'm in here. Toronto? I am I am literally sitting on our on our booth floor right now in the middle of Fan Expo. Amazing, amazing. I will see you soon because I will oh, be cool. uh, making my way shortly. Nice. We'll have to give you like a cool booth tour so you can see everything. Sounds great. It looks like there is just so much going on over there. Um, from screeners to the Jujutsu Kaisen experience. Can there's you, t so can you give me a yes. little bit of a rundown? Yes. So there is, there is so much happening this weekend. Like you mentioned, we have screeners for some of the series that we have on Crunchyroll. So if you're here at the con, you're like, oh, you want to watch something. You can go see one of our screeners. We're also doing actual premieres. So we're doing premieres for Rise of the Shield Heroes Season 3. We're doing premieres for the Ancient Vegas Ride. We're doing premieres for MF Go. So it's it's a lot of cool stuff that we have, just even in the screening rooms. And then here on the actual floor, like kind of a, behind me, you're getting like a tiny snippet of our Jujutsu Kaisen Dome experience. And I don't want to spoil it too much for you because it is kind of a surprise, but it's a very... It's a... It's a different reality sort of experience. I'll put it that way. You get to enter the dome, and it's this very cool Jujutsu Kaisen experience. Okay. It's like a 360 sort of situation. Um, we have a subscriber arcade. I'm literally watching people right now line up to use our claw machine. Um, so Crunchyroll subscribers can get like act well a chance to try and get some cool prizes like Funkos, plushies I'm seeing over there, uh, even some figures out of our arcade cabinet. And then we have photo ops, we've got a swag station next to me, we have our giant mascot Crunchyroll Hime statue up front, like I'm surrounded by stuff right now. That's amazing. That's awesome. You mentioned a few of these screenings and there are a ton of them. Uh, MF Ghost, I Shall Survive Using Potions, Fighter Fire Diego, The Ancient Megas' Bride Season 2. There are a ton of screenings, and I think the fans are uh, going to appreciate you know, the, the fact that Canada is getting a lot of premieres for this. Um, so I'm looking forward to them, and I'm sure a lot of fans are as well. Awesome. I, I certainly hope so. We have some stuff in sub and we have some stuff in dub as well, which is always great in a convention setting where you have multiple, multiple options. I really, I'm excited to see fans' reactions. It's been, you know, this is our first, our first time in Canada for Fan Expo. Um, obviously, we've been in Canada through our service, but we're overdue to come, like, actually hang out with the Canadian fans. So, excited for that this weekend. Yeah. Is this your first time in Canada? In Toronto, at least? Yes. Yes. So, this is, like, all new for me. I'm going to try cool. some poutine. Um, I'm going to try some Tim Hortons. <laughs> if there's anything <laughs> else I should try, let me know. But, yeah, this is my first time getting to go to a convention in Canada and see our French and all Canadian fans in person. Awesome, awesome. You have a panel uh, this weekend as well, correct? Do we have our Crunchyroll industry panel? Um, so we're gonna be we kind of give like you know the state of what's going on at Crunchyroll, some recent things we've announced. We do also have some exclusive announcements that we are doing specifically here at Fan Expo Canada, so that Canadian fans are the first people to hear these announcements out the gate. So we will have that going on. That's um, awesome. When yeah. is that exactly? What what so time that is that? Is, that's tomorrow at six p.m. So today is Thursday. Tomorrow Friday at six p.m. Um, and it is in building room two hundred six. Room two hundred six. Okay, that's on the main level. Yes. The street level. Yeah. On yeah. the main level of the North Building. Yes, the North yeah. Building. Yeah. What is your favorite anime? My favorite anime of all time. I like. I kind of like to keep a list. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it depends on if I'm feeling sad or if it's a brand new anime, but. Um, if I count like the anime that really got me into anime, it's it's more of a it's something a lot of people have heard, which is probably Bebop. Um, I think my like favorite favorite anime is one called The Woman Called Fujikomine, which is a 
spinoff from the League of the Third series. Okay. And it focuses on Fujiko Mine versus focusing on the manga. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's more of a mature anime, um, but it's very artistic. And we recently actually got it on Crunchyroll as well, which I was super excited about. But nice. yeah, that's that's one that I hold very, very near and dear to my heart. Any any current uh, animes that are running or ones that are yet to premiere that are on yeah. your list? Yeah, I'm actually watching Undead Murder Force right now, which is part of our um, most recent season. And so it brings in like some classic characters like Sherlock and Phantom of the Opera and actually Buffon um, in sort of a... a I guess supernatural crime solving drama anime um but like from the first episode i was like oh, i really like this a little darker uh it's got some interesting comedic moments i love a good mystery unraveling um so it's a lot of fun that's what i it's like my current obsession each week <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect to be the biggest cosplay at this fan expo that's a good question so we're in the middle of even summer convention season all across North America. I just came from like Anime Expo. Um, you know, I've been all over. I've seen a lot of Jujutsu Kaisen cosplay. I still see a lot of Demon Slayer cosplay. Um, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling Jujutsu Kaisen might be pretty big this weekend. See. Yeah. I just saw a really good help from the house. Um, <laughs> but I'm I'm actually kind of curious to see what comes out as, as the biggest one for Canada. Yeah. I was when I was at uh Anime North um just uh earlier in the year, there was a lot of chainsaw man. True, yeah. And, and a man. lot of chainsaw man mashups as well. <laughs> I always love seeing um yeah. yeah. I'm excited data. to see what uh what people come up with. Uh, uh, uh one interesting thing that like you said the the mashups, that's something that's really interesting that a lot of people are doing. You're starting to see a lot of like Halo out uh, costumes and uh Mandalorian gear that are like yeah. you know, Spider-Man and it's yeah. crazy. It's really I've cool. I've seen a lot of Star Wars. Well, and because, you know, Fan Expo is definitely more of like a general fandom convention. I see, I've i already seen a lot of Star Wars cosplay just on the more general fandom side. But I'm curious to see which, which anime cosplay wins. I'll keep a little, I might keep like a little tally for myself and just kind of count how many I see of everyone. We'll have, we'll have a bet going and we'll meet up on Sunday and uh, okay. compare. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll compare notes. We'll see who we'll see who wins. <laughs> what from Crunchyroll, without giving too much away yet, what is going to be something that just blows people's minds? That's a good question. Without giving too much away, is it going to be something at the panel that you guys mention? Oh, from this. Okay, from this weekend. Honestly. I think the JJK dome, the Jujutsu Kaisen dome right behind me. I think it's gonna it's gonna blow a lot of people away. This dome right. has traveled to a bunch of different shows already this year, and we've had people show up from one city to the next, saying, "I was at the last con, and I'm in line again to see it again." So yeah, it was at uh, it was at San Diego as well, yep. correct? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. We had it at Comic Con, so I think that's. This this big guy behind me, I think it's gonna be the the, the star winner this weekend. I'm excited. I'm gonna come check that out tonight. Yeah. All right, Lauren, thank you so much for your time and uh you. have a great con. And I hope everyone watching this goes check out the Crunchyroll booth, check out all of the things that Crunchyroll has to offer this weekend for the first time yes. in Canada. Canadian premieres, the Jiu-Jitsu Kaizen experience is gonna be an amazing time at the Crunchyroll booth. Yes, come see us. We're excited to give Canada some love. <laughs> Have a great weekend, Lauren. You too. Bye. Thank you.